So we saw here that it that it takes a moment to get the old files into the new project and uh, I showed a version of it here which was recorded which you can watch again but then I gave you uh, individual help if you needed it and then we we figured it out so it's just about putting together the old code with the new code and once that's all together it goes pretty smooth so I tested it on a couple of devices and it is running and then I see what a terrible font I chose uh, it's a little hard to read so anyway I have my colors I have the font that all can be edited uh, if you're using my code as is from the folder you need to go in and tweak some things most likely but if it all works together like that then it works so what we'll do here is I noticed that when I was running on my device I was getting a little error so let me talk a little bit about debugging because this will be very useful I'm gonna run the project again just to show you this error that I'm looking at and how errors will be helpful or the error panel will be helpful for us to figure things out so let me load this up uh, Visual Studio changes over to debugging mode and I get that output console of errors so let me load that up if you hover over many of these errors not clicking but even if you just hover over errors you often get some feedback and that feedback might help you figure out what's wrong in my case a moment ago I noticed it was saying it's missing the Ajax loader well Ajax loader is that little spinning icon that happens so here it is mine loaded up I'm in debug mode I can tell because I've got uh, it says running at the top left and I've also got the red stop so I'm in debug mode my console here the one thing that I don't like is that the console does not clear itself out between every time we load it and I thought this thing here was supposed to do a clear on navigate but it might be useful for you to clean out your console here either just click the X or control L so these ones were from the last time I ran it a moment ago I won't clear it because I don't want to restart it but I think it it's this stuff here. This is the new stuff. I wish they would timestamp it also. You know, a current window. Fail to load resource. Error file not found. And this is Ajax loader. So just looking at that, there's something missing, perhaps. Well, again, if you hover over some of these items, it might give you more feedback. Ajax loader GIF is missing. And on my little bubble there that it popped up, it's saying it can't find your Ajax loader, and it's expecting it in the images folder in the CSS folder. Well, I don't have it set up like that in my project. In my project, right, the Solution Explorer disappears. You'll have to open it while you're in debug mode if you need it. But that was saying that in the CSS folder, it's looking for Ajax Loader. So either we can edit the code that points to the missing file, or we can move the file, so or copy it. So here in the Java console, this is what I'm saying. If you hover over these, you will often get some sort of pop-up that gives you a little bit more help. I think uh, what I'll do is I'll copy and paste it. So I need to stop debugging because some of this stuff about moving files inside of the folder tree, I shouldn't do it while the project is running. I'm going to stop the project. And so what I'm seeing in my scripts folder, or where did it end up? In the images folder. In the images folder, we've got that Ajax loader that it can't find. When we had our simplified version of the project last month, it was all together in a certain way and it worked fine. But now our folder structure is different. So what you can do is Ajax loader, right click copy, and then in your CSS, right click paste. There's also a way to edit the original, the original file to point to it and uh, Irina where 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 what which file was that in again? In the my colors min CSS. Let's see here. My colors. So somewhere inside of my colors min CSS we have Ajax oh, at the very end. So here's another way to do it. In the my colors you would have to change your path. This is looking for Ajax loader GIF in the images folder but that's not the right path that's two ways to do it put that full put that file in the right place or change your code to point to the right file I'm going to
going to do the copy and paste. So I'm putting the uh, Ajax loader GIF in the CSS folder. If it takes a while for your project to load up in the device, it may be useful to switch to a simulator. If you need to do quick testing, it seems that the simulator loads up faster. So sometimes I'll be on simulator and sometimes I'll be on device. Both should give you back, both should give you output equivalent, but perhaps simulator will load up faster. Yes? You find it first in the images folder, Ajax loader, and then you can put it in the CSS folder. Let's see here. I'm going to load it up in my browser. So again, this is old output. It's not that it's still saying can't find it. This is the annoying thing. Uh, I need maybe I maybe I need to get used to clear my console when I stop debugging, so that the next time I debug, my console is empty. So I can stop, I can clear the console with a little X or Control L. I can stop it, I can rerun it, and then that way I can make sure that I've got a clean console so that I can uh, check my output. Okay, I'll check you one moment. Uh, does mine have it too? Uh, CSS images. I think we do then actually have to change the path. Yeah. It'll be better to change the path, actually. OK, so we'll do this. The um, Let's open the mycolorsmin.css. At the very end, that path is going over to images again, which we don't need that because it is in the images folder. Yes. What path should you write up to back to scatter folder? If you want it to go back to the parent folder, we need to do dot dot slash then images. So if we don't want to copy over the 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 GIF into this folder, we need dot dot slash, then images folder, then your Ajax loader. If we want the Ajax loader in this folder, then the path will only be Ajax loader. So because the my colors min is in the CSS folder, the path a moment ago that said that said images slash Ajax loader was wrong, because Ajax loader is in the same folder as my colors. But if you don't put Ajax loader in CSS and leave it in images, then your path is going to be that you have to first have dot dot slash, which takes you out of the current level. It takes you out of the CSS folder, dot dot slash. Then it goes into images folder, and you'll find Ajax loader. that up again. I, I cleared the console before I stopped debugging, so I should have an empty console. And then so I don't have that error anymore about Ajax loader. I still have that annoying one about the fave icon. I don't see that when I, um, when I run it on a real device, but I see it here. So one thing we could do is we could trick it. We could put an image there and name it favicon.ico. And that way we can stop at least that message. It won't be a real icon. 
but you can put a, a dummy uh, file there to at least placate it. And then it's saying the rest, ready to rock, line 19, you, no users logged in, line 38 in these files. Let me check that again, and I should see that those messages are, are corrected. So now I only have the JavaScript feedback that I've set myself up for before. I can do sign up and create an account. terrible font. So it's going to see that my password's matched and all of that success. Log in. Everything that was already there uh, code-wise is still there. I put a wrong password on purpose. That should still work. You should still test your app like we did last month about what happens if I put the wrong password, what happens if I put mismatched passwords. It all worked last month, but you should still test it again now that it's on a real device. And it takes me home, and I'm inside the app, and I can then use it, um, start using it. Clear my console. I'm going to run it on my device. So definitely running it on the uh, simulator, for me at least, is a lot faster. And uh, you can decide on yours if it's not. When I get this all working, if it's all working, then we'll move on to further uh, refining our project here and then s continuing with the functionality of it, saving the, uh, s the fields to the database and all of that. So we'll get into PouchDB. But there's my splash screen loading up for a few seconds, loads up. Um, uh, early uh, last uh, on Tuesday the splash screen only stayed up for like 1.2 seconds because the app was very basic it didn't have very much stuff this time it took up a little bit more like 2.7 seconds whatever so again the splash screen should only stay up as long as necessary until all the project is ready and because I had logged in previously it automatically logged me back into the home screen project is working just fine now in my case if you used my um, project uh, I chose last month I chose just any obvious weird font for my project and, and it works. I think these fonts are terrible uh, for my device. So I'm going to uh, deactivate these fonts. This is optional. If you like your font, keep it. I don't like my font. I'll fix it later. But here's what I would do in the index CSS file. This is where I've got that at font face line 25 that in my case is pointing to DJ gross normal. I don't like that font at all. So I'm going to comment out all of that block. I don't need that at font face. 
And as a matter of fact, I don't even need it over here. I also have Chiller, another weird font that I don't need. So actually, I'm going to comment out all of that extra font stuff. And that'll fall back to the basic Roboto theme and all of that. So I've got to do it a couple of ways here. What's that? Yeah, we're going to comment the Where, where? So if you commented out like font family, the first line of your font base, or all of them. Oh, okay, sure. Yes. Yeah, we if we just comment yeah. on the stuff inside of the selector, that would do it as well. I just want to comment it all out here because I, I don't like Chiller, I don't like DJ Grossman, and all that extra stuff. So if you like your own font, keep it. Uh, I don't like my font. And uh, this will fall back to what I had up here, Roboto Regular and so forth. So it'll be a boring font, but it'll be readable at least. Then you can decide your own fonts and colors later. Let me just run it to confirm it, then we'll go on. The data of the folder or the individual files? The data of the folder. I would assume that it would say, oh, you made changes as of 10 12. So you're yeah, this date modified here. Yeah, that's interesting. That's I think that's a quirk or a bug of Windows. Yeah. I would have assumed that it would have changed. But it, yeah, you, mine still says 10.10, 10, yeah. even though mine's got 10.12. I think the actual individual files inside, hopefully, well, that one's not changed <laughs> up either. Um, that one does say 10.12. Yeah, some of them, some of these dates do change, but others don't. That's odd. So then that's why I, I guess I keep them in separate folders just so that I'm, in theory I know that 1012 folder has 1012 changes. Okay, so that loaded up in my project goes back to boring, but at least I can read it.